friends friends today i will now you know tell you something about very interesting i am taking you to my screen uh, you know mobile screen i'll show you something very interesting uh, welcome to my channel friends so today i'll tell you something about uh, you know uh, the uh, you know fifth house the fifth house the fifth house as you can see is very important friends yes so this house uh, you know like uh, uh, is the house of happiness you can see in this chart uh, you know uh, there is a uh, you know it's a, like uh, this is a, a chart of a virgo ascendant and in the fifth house you can see ketu is there all right so and what sign is there capricorn all right all right so friends what i want to tell you that capricorn capricorn the sign of capricorn in the fifth house so even you know you can just you know just look at the dignity of the fifth lord or you can look at uh, okay the lagnesh or the ascendant lord in the chart if more or less they are well placed in the chart then i can tell you something friends that uh, you know virgo ascendant people who have capricorn sign in the fifth house such people come across as workaholics at times or people you know kind of think that you know such people virgo ascendants um, they are very methodical systematic they are work oriented and they are so meticulous about details also they are disciplined organized also and they are so concerned about their work and you know sometimes people may think that oh my god this person you know doesn't know how to chill out i mean always thinking of work 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 i mean all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so people have this sort of an uh, notion this sort of an opinion about them that they are you know like they are so boring they are all the time thinking of work and nothing else they are very boring that's what people think while the reality which i'll tell you today is something exactly different just look at the fifth house friends the fifth house as you know is the house of happiness it is the house of joy yes it is also the house of creativity yes so they have capricorn in the fifth house that means capricorn is the sign of saturn or saturn is the significator of profession so such people actually gain a lot of joy and happiness from their work because in the house of happiness in the house of joy in the house of you know uh, you know mental satisfaction and happiness in that house in that house capricorn is it is the house of happiness pleasure even even inner satisfaction so there you have saturn you have i mean sorry there you have capricorn that means you that sign that zodiac sign capricorn which is ruling the fifth house is telling you that such people gain real joy and fifth house is ruled in the kalpurush kundli or in the chart of the cosmic man the fifth house is ruled by sun so what kind of joy real joy even spiritual joy you can say you know their spirit gets elevated when they are at work they they really gain joy happiness from their work so that is true in case of most virgo ascendants and yeah but yes you have to look at the dignity of mercury because mercury is the lagnesh or ascendant lord but this is true in case of most virgo ascendants so friends do let me know in the comment box they derive joy from their work and also look at the 6th house so the gain from your work is in the 6th house so 11 the, the 11 is the sign of aquarius aquarius sign is coming in the 6th house so if they regularly do something if they do if they do their work on a regular basis if they are disciplined because 6th house is the house of daily routine so if they regularly do something on a daily basis if they do it you know uh, okay uh, regularly in a methodical way then they will be successful they will be successful if they do that they will gain from their profession if they do that but yes uh, because the house of you know 11 is also the sign of gains which is in the 6th house so yeah they, at times they may encounter some obstacles also when it comes to gaining from their profession they may have to encounter some obstacles 
but look at ketu you have to look at the chart friends here you have ketu in the fifth house and uh, capricorn uh, you know ketu is in the sign of capricorn all right so look at look at the 10th lord also 10th lord is the sign is is 10th lord here you can see that 10th lord is mercury 10th lord and ascendant lord they are the same and 10th lord is in the 10th house and 10th lord mercury is with mars venus mars is connected to technology engineering even occult knowledge uh, and ketu also is occult knowledge yes so uh, ketu is sitting in the 5th house and ketu is in the sign of capricorn capricorn is profession now uh, venus is healing venus could be connected to even being a you know beautician fashion designer because 10th lord is sitting with sun venus mars it's a very good combination for being a healer an astrologer an occultist also because sun mars venus they are all connected to astrology to healing to occult knowledge also now they can be also connected to other fields also like venus can be connected to uh, you know as i told you other fields it they, venus can be connected even to the food industry they can be connected to restaurants yeah uh, then mars and sun mars is connected to technology so friends sun is connected even to the medical profession sun and mars sun and mars together can show the yoga of becoming a surgeon sun and mars a doctor a surgeon and with that this and venus is also medicine so th in that way you can go on reading the 10th lord is with these planets which other planets are aspecting the 10th lord so which other planets are aspecting the 10th jupiter and saturn are aspecting the 10th lord also jupiter saturn any kind of you can be a consultant also you can go into cons venus is also uh, when venus is also with the 10th lord venus can also he may help you become a consultant jupiter and saturn are aspecting so you can become a consultant a guide even teacher why not so friends look at study the chart so such people will gain happiness from their profession that's what i wanted to tell you so friends uh, that's what i wanted to tell you and uh, uh, you know uh, even sixth house is the house of loan you know so maybe if they have taken a loan maybe if they took a housing loan say and if if they had taken a loan at the right time if they had done, you know the right thing at the right time so that loan maybe can give them a lot of benefit in the long run maybe they took a housing loan just at the right time and in future that because of that housing loan they're going to be able to you know have their own asset their own property they're going be they're going to be able to build their own asset or property that's because they you know they, and they're going to gain from that uh, you know loan a lot because uh, you know in the sixth house you have aquarius so in this there are various ways you can in which you can uh, go on reading the chart yes friends so that's what i wanted to tell you today about virgo ascendants so uh, and uh, you know friends hope you like today's video that's all for today thank you friends bye
Thank you.